<laughs> hello, hello, what's up everybody? It is great to be back as usual, getting the good early stream in. Steen, it's good to see you in chat. How are you doing today? Ooh, I'm ready to jump into this game. I've been waiting for a while for it to come out. Um, and it is just getting here. I've been seeing a lot of people uh, playing it in the early access. And yeah, it should be kind of it should be kind of cool. It, it's kind of a grindy game, it looks like, to get up to the levels that you want to be at when you are gonna play competitively. So we should be putting a lot of time in this from here on out. Um, it's kind of a mixed martial arts kind of uh, kung fu-ish game. We'll be punching some faces and kicking some stomachs. <clears throat> but yeah, I got my coffee here. So cheers to all you people out there that are drinking coffee right now. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And let's jump into the game. I was reading today that <clears throat> it is strongly recommended for people to use a controller while playing this game. So, as usual, we will be using a mouse and keyboard. Because that's how we do things here. <laughs> Alright. New game. Yeah, it was ju we were just able to download it today um, at 11 o'clock my time. So, we were, th we were thinking we'd be able to download it last night or early this morning, but Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So we're only gonna be able to stream this for about two, two and a half hours today, and then we'll have to call it. And then later tonight, we'll be back for Terror Tuesday. With some more Darkwood, which is a game that I've been wanting to jump back into ever since last Thursday. All right, let's design our character. All right, skin color, do some tan, tan skin color. Sex, I am male. Haircut, straight. Parted, frizzy. Brush cut. Braided. Wild, wow, that looks super wild. Give myself some blonde hair, similar to IRL-ish. And, uh, hmm, should be good. Wild haircut. Let's look through some more of these. Smooth, slick, straight. All right, so that's, that's all of them. With wild. <clears throat> combat style, Forsaken. Balanced combat ability with a slight focus on strength. Lost completely attack and stuns the opponent. The opponent. And stun your opponent. Okay, let's check out the rest of these. Fault. Dismiss the stun of the attack. Lose health can be recovered. Or the lost health can be can be recovered. looks the most promising so far. Windfall. Improved mainly dist improves mainly dexterity. Avoids and slows down the attack. That's the that's their special ability. So it looks like each one of these has a special ability. So far it's parry, um, avoid, <clears throat> and absorb. There's one more maybe? No, okay, so that's all. Parry, avoid, and absorb. So basically we're just picking which one of these we want. Improves mainly strength and vitality. All right, I think we're gonna go with Forsaken. <clears throat> K 
Cool. Because a parry seems kind of badass. All right, name. We can just name ourselves Absolver. <laughs> There's some isosceles triangle up in there. Hopefully our name isn't Medigan. There we go. <clears throat> All right, let's absolve some things. That's me! It's me! I have been chosen. Chosen by the gods. How are you doing today, Steen? Right now, we are not an Absolver yet. I don't think we are able to be an Absolver until we complete the main storyline. Right now, we are simply... A... It's not an Initiate, it's something. noise. Alright, let's check out our controls real quick. Hmm. Okay. God, just space bar. <clears throat> Secret attack. Alternate attack. Rush is R. It's pretty easy. F is action. Lock. That's kind of cool. Huh. wonder what this does. Emote. <laughs> Keep going. Item one, item two. Alright, so these are, I think swords and, and fist gauntlet, gauntlets are the only two items in the game right now. I mean, she, control, I mean, okay, guard, this is going to be very important. Oh, we want to remember this one. Shift, move backwards, WSD. And stance mode, not too bad. Not too bad at all. But action, rush, and, uh... Dodge. Action rush, dodge, and guard are really the only two things to remember. Let's see what action does. That's this is just guard. This is rush. R is for rush. So, uh, it's a, such a quaint area. I like it. I like it a lot. Actually, let's go ahead and move our face over to the opposite side of the screen. That way we're not covering our health bar and stuff here. So directionality of 
screen pointing really counts for a lot, actually. It's kind of interesting. Tap. Wait, what? Oh, that's cool. So this is just how we change targets between one and two. That's kind of nice. Let's kill it. <clears throat> So I believe this is our stamina bar down right underneath, underneath us. So we pretty much only have slow kind of starter attacks right now because we actually haven't unlocked any. Um, which is kind of important to note. Look! Real people! Attack sequence. Click, click, click. Easy enough so far, but I'm guessing this is going to get a lot harder. There's no real jumping, so we just have to kind of dodge. The combat deck has four stances. Each starts with a different attack. Q, E, Z, C. Okay, it's kind of cool. Interesting. So this is how they create variation within your attacks. So it looks like there's not a... There's not a kick attack. Oh, there is, for the bottom two stances. Or a, a strong alternate attack. So this is the strong alternate attack for bottom left, but that automatically resets your stance to upper left or upper right. Okay. Equipment, school, meditation. Encounters. We're going to look at our attack deck. Doesn't look like there is yet. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Apparently you can break these, uh, vases.
Yes, yes, I see. And potentially find goodies. What's this little thing hanging from our belt? It's kind of interesting looking. <laughs> let's actually check our, let's check our equipment real quick. Right, so we only have this basic stuff right now. I'm sure we'll unlock some other stuff at some point. Yeah, C-level equipment. We're a prospect right now, that's what it's called. A prospect. Some attacks have a special property. Like that. Cancel an attack if pressed immediately after attacking. Oh, that's cool. I see, okay. And we also want a guard to gain abilities. So it's a feint if we guard immediately. Gosh, okay, that's a, I've seen people fainting. And that is how you do it. You just cancel immediate- oh! So this is all heavy attack. All right, not bad. Uh, should we continue forward this way or should we climb that ladder? Let's, let's climb the ladder. Looks like there's some cool stuff up there. Possibly. Not very early. You're on the opposite side? Yes, yeah, because over there, there's those little icons, and I wanted you, you wonderful people to be able to see the little icons. Yeah, I know, Jasper. We couldn't, we couldn't play it early because they wouldn't allow us to download it until about 11. So, we're here as early as we can be. Alright, so it actually looks like we cannot climb this ladder, unfortunately. Let's, let's smash this first. We're still getting used to it. The controls, especially on mouse and keyboard, are a bit difficult sometimes. Thank you. Cheers to you, Steam. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. I think I want to base kind of parts of my playstyle around fainting. It seems like, a, especially at a higher level, like something that would be really useful. Oh. Oh, she hit her partner, Jesus. Ah! Uh! I need to remember to block. If I don't remember to block, Do accept item donations instead of money? What do you mean by that, Steam? So we're trying to absorb a lot of her moves right now because the way you learn moves in this game is you get kicked in the face. And if you block...
Do I accept item donations instead of money? When I said what do I what do you mean by that? I mean like what kind of items would you donate? Like hard physical items? Um if that's the case, not really because I don't have a PO box set up. Unfortunately. All right. One thing that I... So there's a system, basically, where you click Q, E, Z, or C, and you switch your stance, and then your, your heavy attack or your alternate attack and your main attack are varied depending on which stance you're in. Never mind, XD. Sorry, Steen, I just don't really know what you're talking about. Like, do you mean, like, online items? Like, um, like, games? If that's the case, then yeah, sure. But if you mean, like, physical items, I don't really, I don't have, currently have a way to do that. In the future, if we have more people ask that question, then I'd be happy to set up a P.O. box at some point. But right now, it's not, it doesn't really seem like a appropriate option. Looks like a camera. So the NPCs we've been battling so far are extraordinarily easy. Um, so we're gonna have to up our game quite a lot. I think you're supposed to be able to meditate at these, but I don't... Alright. Delio, my friend. Ignore my question. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I don't like ignoring people, but I just... That's the only thing I can answer with the information you've given me. Find and defeat Silen to get through here. Okay. Silen the Silent. <laughs> so if you see this little bar right next to him, he, as he kicks me and I block it or I dodge it, a little thing fills up, and that means that I'm gaining. Yeah, that move. There's two moves he has that I don't have. So I'm about halfway full with that. I'm going to let him keep hitting me until I gain that move. But I want that move. I could easily kill him right now because my attacks... He doesn't block pretty much at all. Oh, that was one I don't have. It looks like he has a guard break of some sort. Yeah, okay, so I cannot guard against that attack, which is interesting. Alright. There should be a way for me to heal by sitting at this thing. But it doesn't look like it's going to let me yet, so I'm guessing it the game... So is this game all multiplayer? No, currently I'm playing no multiplayer. The, what I'm doing right now is the uh, <coughs> story, the story version. The um, So all these people that I'm battling are NPCs, they're just computer-generated enemies. And so I'll, I'll, what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to beat the story version, gain as many moves as I can... And then once I've beaten the story version, actually go into PvP. And so the way the PvP, which is player versus player, 
multiplayer actually works is you there's two ways it can work there's one way that's kind of like dark souls where while you're running around the story version people can just come into your arena and choose to battle you if you want um and then there's the primary pvp version which is um a three life match in an arena and that's that's where you actually end up battling but i don't really want to do most of that until i've beaten pretty much the entire story version